Hey, what is up, guys? All right, so we have the spoilers for the Black Clover chapter coming out this Sunday, which, man, it feels great to be able to look forward to this again on a weekly basis, which, surprisingly, we actually had the full summary for the chapter. I honestly was not expecting us to get this until possibly tomorrow night, Wednesday night, or going into Thursday morning, but we had the chapter full summary out, so we can just jump right into it. And the fact that we got it this early in the week just shows exactly how excited everyone was for Black Clover to finally come back after a three-month hiatus. Now, anyway, before I get into the full summary, I do want to mention that I'm reading this off the black cover subreddit so if you want to follow along or if you basically just want to read it for yourself later on i'm going to try to remember to post a link down in the description below if not you can just easily go to reddit and just look up black cover and you'll find it it's like one of the top three posts on there the chapter title is final decoration chapter starts with underworld 7 gate lucifer mumbles about having the strongest magic lucius appears indeed but in this world us humans have the most superior magic takes heart Time skip one year and three months later. All right, so this is already starting off with a bang. I mean, if you see all the leaked images that go along with this first page, then you already know that we get to see Lucifer in a very deformed state, which I guess is still better off than when I thought he was dead at the beginning of the last chapter. And now one theory I see a lot of people commenting over here on Reddit is that they think that Lucius is actually keeping Lucifer alive to steal his time. Because since Lucifer can't die unless his heart gets destroyed, he's basically on infinite time he's not going to die from old age or anything and since it seems like lucius might be slowly running down of time where he might be stealing people's time because he doesn't have enough of it himself this basically gives him an infinite source of time to steal from and i guess that actually explains why he had adramel take lucifer's heart in the beginning of the last chapter because as long as he has the heart lucifer can fully regenerate and he has basically complete control over him scene cuts to post time skip and special ceremony where asa is promoted to senior magic knight we're told Yuno is already a Grand Magic Knight, but he's away on a mission right now. Okay, I gotta be honest with you guys, I honestly forgot that these titles when it came to being a Magic Knight were even a thing. Because it's been so long since the last time that one, we got to see a ceremony where someone was promoted to a brand new title. And two, when it comes to power scaling, it's not mattered for a long time now. I mean, Asta, regardless of what his rank was, and I forget honestly what his rank was, pre time skip or pre new time skip with this chapter. But regardless of what it was, he was already outranking power-wise all the captains and vice-captains. All Magic Knights are also present there. Alright, this I think is a little bit of a hyperbole because I've seen the image kind of tied to this, like the ceremony. And we get to see Asa walking into a building, which, while big, I don't think we'll actually be able to hold every single Magic Knight in the entire Clover Kingdom. Uh, a panel of Noel and Mimosa blushing. Cool. Yami doesn't understand why Charlotte is acting weird near him. For the past year, Finral tells him Charlotte confessed while Yami was on the verge of death. Yami sits on the toad and ponders if Charlotte is in love with him. Alright, so I haven't seen any panels or anything linked to this scene right here, but just something about the idea of Yami sitting on the toad while thinking to myself while thinking to himself, this hot girl wants to date me, is just extremely funny. Dom Natio, I hope I pronounced that right, disappeared, so devil trials are stagnant. Alright, that actually makes sense, and that's something that a lot of people theorize, that because he might have died or vanished at the end of the last chapter, that because of that, Asa's trials are going to be put on hold, and he'll be allowed to re-enter the Clover Kingdom. So I guess that actually would end up happening. Although, now it does bring up the question, is he dead? Is he just being held hostage somewhere, like Lucifer is? Or what's going on with that? People chit chat why the Wizard King is missing from the ceremony, I suppose. Someone says he has a hobby of scotting and dipping. Asta gossips that the next Wizard King is Fugoyan, Nozel, or Mary Leona. And my personal bet is going to be Mary Leona, if not Yami, instead of any of the other three. Uh, but Nozel says that all that is on hold. Okay, so this is interesting. The fact that they're talking about this, though, means that we're possibly in the process of creating, or not creating, we're in the process of electing i guess a new wizard king we still have no idea exactly how a wizard king is selected is, it, is there a tournament is there like an election do people go and vote for it what's going on is it just the person who's the strongest captain because if that's the case then it's definitely going to mario leona but if there's like an election we might get to see the process of how it's actually held in this final saga Fugoyan chats with Asta, he says that there are still distrustful people towards the devil power, but Asta's merit should be recognized. Asta is very happy that Fugoyan recognizes him. Fugo says he realized he just isn't strong enough for this yet. I'm guessing he means he's not strong enough to become the next Wizard King. Which, if Mary, if Mary Oyona and Diami don't exist, if they're just completely out of picture, honestly, Fugoyan is probably my choice for next Wizard King, out of, you know, assuming that. Both Yuno and Asta are not ready to take on a position. 
he's definitely my next choice because he possibly would be the next strongest, especially with Salamander backing him up. Asta decides to confess his sister Lily for real. He proposes, but she turns him down. Your family, like a sweet little bird to me. Asta at last acknowledges the rejection, understood. However, I couldn't give up. But I get that I can't change people's, uh, people's thoughts. That's why I please witness my unchanging oath. I will be Wizard King. Sister Lily says, you definitely will. All right, so I saw a lot of people commenting on Reddit that they're finally glad that Asta's playing this to bed and he's no longer gonna be going after Sister Lily, which me personally, I kind of enjoyed the joke of him going back and forth every now and then of, you know, proposing to her and being rejected, especially with the like water fist knocking him down, even though he's a character who could easily deflect that and not be affected by it. The fact that you let it happen over and over again was kind of a comedic joke that I honestly did enjoy. But that being said, this does now open him up to possibly pursuing a romance with Noel, Mimosa, or I know she hasn't been in the series for a long time now, but Rebecca, she's still an option too. Or any of the other characters who might have fallen in love with Asta that we might not be aware of. Like, for all we know, Nero might secretly be in love with Asta or have a thing for him. No, I mean, they kind of hinted to that maybe in the anime a little bit during that bath scene. You never know. But uh, yeah, th this is actually kind of cool development for Asta getting over this, although I'm going to miss the gag showing up every now and then. Then we get to the end of the chapter where it says Lucius appears on the scene of Asa's convo with Sister Lily. Congratulations, you reached the end point. Editor's note, the Wizard King appears. So this is the end of the chapter. This is the big moment, which is surprising that it's coming at this moment because I thought this would be like the big reveal of Lucius being the main villain or coming at Asa and confronting him. If that was going to happen in this chapter, I thought that would be the colored page. But since it's a centered color page that we're getting this week, I'm guessing it's going to be some point during the ceremony when Asta is promoted. Like during that whole entire interaction, I think that's going to be the center page. Or maybe him confessing to Sister Lily for the final time and her turning him down might be the center page. Which, in my opinion, is kind of a waste of a center page. I feel like this Lucius reveal should be the colored page that we get. Although that being said, leaving off on this amazing cliffhanger of the main character coming face to face with the brand new introduced series big villain at the beginning of the saga is possibly the best cliffhanger that we could have for this first chapter to guarantee that people will come back to read chapter 333. So yeah, even though I kind of do think it's actually kind of a waste to not have this be the big colored page moment, it's still a pretty great moment. I'm actually looking forward to reading it when it comes out. All right, so that is the complete summary for the chapter. And the things that I'm actually most interested in from this chapter or the ideas that I put forward are the idea that we might finally be getting the wizard king election process so like how people are chosen to become the next wizard king because again as long as the series is going on we still have not gotten a clear definite answer as to how the person is chosen i mean when it comes to the first one we kind of assume that's just that you're married like you being considered the strongest wizard in the entire kingdom is what grants you the title but honestly i'm kind of hoping that there's more to it like maybe a whole tournament that's involved with choosing who the next wizard king is because think about it if we get a tournament arc during this final saga, even if it's at the very end of it, if we get a tournament arc during this final saga that gets to decide who's going to be the next Wizard King, look at how many amazing fights we're going to have, like Jack versus Yami, Fugolian versus Nozel. We might finally get an Asta versus Yuno fight, which is definitely something I think a lot of fans have wanted to see for a long time now. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I'm so excited that we finally have Black Clover chapters back, and I'm looking forward to reading the chapter unofficially on Friday and when the official one comes out on the 31st. But that's it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Look forward to my review when the chapter comes out, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.